Hey everyone, it's Santana here from ColorGirlBeauty.org and you're watching Color Girl Beauty on YouTube where I keep videos short, so simple, and to the point. And this is going to be a review comparison video on the e.l.f. powder brush and the Sigma F80. So stay tuned. Okay, tuned. so ever since I've been on YouTube and started blogging about beauty related products, I've been hearing all about Sigma, Sigma, Sigma brushes. And I am a Sigma affiliate, so please shop through me. And I've actually been one for a while, but it'll be hard to believe that I actually didn't have any Sigma products but I knew they were good products because I seen videos I read reviews that I heard so many good things and I did believe in the product when I became an affiliate and also I just didn't always have the extra money on hand to buy the brushes that I wanted but one brush that you would continuously hear about when it comes to Sigma one of the basic brushes that everybody will recommend to you and I will as well is the Sigma F80 brush and it looks like this of course, you can see my foundation color, excuse me, but um, this retails for $16, um, which may be kind of like a steep price, but one of the great things about Sigma brushes is that a lot of people compare them to MAC brushes, and MAC brushes are like 30 bucks a piece, people. So $16 compared to $30 something dollars, I'd rather go with a $16. they are a pretty decent price actually, but they're a really, really good product, and Sigma is always coming out with great innovative products that you guys just need to check out, and trust me, I plan on stocking up a lot. Um, but anyway, I wanted to really compare this because um, there's a dupe for the Sigma brush, and you will also probably hear a lot about this, and that is the e.l.f. powder brush. And it's a flat top brush. Um, you call it kaboo, whatever you want to call it, but it's a flat top powder brush. I never understood why they called it a powder brush. Um, I have their complexion brush, which is to me more of a powder brush, but anyway, whatever. But since I have both brushes now, I really wanted to do a comparison video because, you know, a lot of people who can't afford or don't have the Sigma F80 opt to go for the e.l.f. powder brush, which is only $3, and it's from their studio line. So that is what I'm doing now. I will tell you um, the pros and cons of each one and um, yeah so uh, okay so I will start off with the elf powder brush um, this retails it's a really good price it's like three dollars at elf.com um, I love the bristles they are really soft it's definitely a full head um, and it's from their studio line and this is a great alternative to to any expensive type or even the Sigma F80 or any MAC brushes or whatever so I don't want you to get the wrong idea because this has worked for me um, for a long time um, the pros I really love the bristles they're so soft like I, I love that I love the bristles it does apply foundation really well um, like almost flawlessly I used to use my Eagle Tools Kabuki brush um, I got it initially for foundations and tinted moisturizers but then um, I switched to this one because I wanted a more controlled um, brushing um, it is pretty dense but the Sigma F80 is denser. Um, it does clean well, which is good. The drying time, um, well, I usually leave mine to dry overnight. So by the morning, it's usually dried, so it's good. Um, one of the things I didn't like is when I first got the brush, it did shed a little bit, particularly on one side. Um, then it stopped shedding. But now it's kind of starting to shed now. And I probably had this for... I want to say maybe five months probably five um, and it's now it's it's coming loose now yeah and this just started so I guess after five months it's not bad but again it's three dollars so be aware um, but other than that it's you know a pretty good brush you know except for the little shading or shedding I should say and the handle coming apart as well I do like the look of it <clears throat> as well um, will I be keeping this I might not be keeping this just because it's kind of breaking down a little bit in shedding and I really really like my new brush I got um, so this is a great alternative if you want to start off with a great foundation brush um, the elf powder brush is a great tool to use and it's only three dollars so it's really cool and pick up the elf brush cleanser because that works pretty awesome as well so I think that wraps it up for the e.l.f. 
powder brush and let's move on to the sigma. Okay, so the Sigma F80 brush is a really popular brush. You will hear so many beauty gurus talk about it and just any makeup person talk about it. Um, and you know what? They are so right. Um, <laughs> it's $16. Again, I know I've mentioned this before. It's a flat top, which is awesome, which I think works really well when applying your foundation. Um, and as you can already see, compared to the e.l.f. powder brush, it's denser, which means like this metal part is further up on the brush as compared to this. Like this one's more out. Um, so it's definitely more denser. The bristles are really soft, and this is synthetic um, as well. I have not experienced any shading. I've had this for probably about um, going on two weeks now. Um, it, I haven't washed it yet, but I will wash it soon. So, But I already know that they probably wash well. But I love how this applies foundation so much that I love how it applies more than the e.l.f. powder brush. And I say this because both apply your foundation flawlessly. Let's just get that right. You can use this with liquid, liquid or powder just the same as the e.l.f. powder brush. Um, but this one blends in better, if that makes sense. Like, I find that I don't have to blend. Like, I already don't have to blend in as much anyway um, with the e.l.f. powder brush. But this just cuts down, like, half that even more. Um, so I really, really love how this blends my foundation. And another thing I really noticed is the brush size. And I didn't realize it was such a big thing for me until I really started paying attention to how I use it. Um, because on the side areas here, as you can see, I'll take off my glasses a little bit. The side areas and the forehead areas, if you compare brush sides, I'm just put the brush right here. You can see. That like already covers up like my forehead already you put <laughs> the Sigma brush and I still have like a whole bunch of room and I say this because when I, you put foundation up here I kind of just hold my head back and I do circle motions this brush size fits perfectly in those hard areas which is great compared to this where I had to blend in a little more because I had to make sure I get all the area and it was just a little more of a mess doing it with this. That was one of the biggest things that I noticed. So I love the size of this. I think it's perfect for the smaller areas as well. I love that it's a sturdy handle. It feels really good in the hand and it's just it's just awesome. $16 uh, may be a little steep but it's really worth it. I can already tell it's going to be worth it. Of course, you want to take care of your brushes as well. Um, this is actually my segment, second Sigma brush because I have um, an E25 blending brush as well. But I really, really enjoy this brush. Um, I will probably get rid of the e.l.f. powder brush just because, again, it's breaking down. But I will definitely keep my Sigma F80. And I highly recommend that you look into getting it. I will leave the link down below so you can go and shop there as well. But I really just like this brush all around. I love how it handles. I love how um, it blends in my makeup. It works really well as far as that. And I'm just really excited to be using it. And it makes putting on my makeup a complete breeze. Um, so I hope this comparison kind of helped you as far as like brush size um as far as price and as far as like the material like you know if it's going to shed or not and how it handles and everything else both are really good brushes i recommend both so it really is up to you and your price range as well but if you can afford to take the lunch i do recommend that you go with sigma because it's definitely a good investment and brushes are an investment because if you wear makeup every day you're going to be using it every day so i will post this video up on curlygirlbeauty.org also i will try to do a little written written report I guess you could say as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to go to curlygirlbeauty.org to subscribe and follow my blog. Subscribe to the newsletter and shop mark with me. So that is it. I hope this was helpful. I'll talk to you guys later.